Pressure washers transform a standard garden hose into a lean, mean cleaning machine. But there's a lot to consider when specking the best washer to suit your demands. Here's a guide to the particulars and some advice on how to put a pressure washer to good use. The PSI, or pounds per square inch, rating of a power washer refers to the pressure that the washer unit is capable of producing. Pressure washers rated up to 2200 PSI are generally used only for light duty tasks like cleaning away mud and dirt from automobiles and lawn equipment. Washers rated 2200 to 3000 are intended for more frequent use or larger jobs like cleaning the siding of a house. Washers rated up to 3500 or more PSI are the heavy duty units for professional applications. The GPM or gallons per minute rating refers to the rate of water flow through the unit. Generally speaking, the higher the GPM, the more surface area the washer can clean. A washer with a 3 GPM flow rate can clean almost twice as much area as a 2 GPM unit in the same amount of time. Although electric washers offer the benefits of low maintenance and quiet operation, they are intended for occasional light duty cleaning chores. They are also notably less expensive than gas powered units. Plus, electric units are more compact than their gas powered counterparts, which comes in handy when working in tight spaces. For more power, gas is the way to go. Paint prep and heavy duty cleaning for applications such as stained concrete require a gas engine to power the pump. Gas units offer pressure ratings up to a whopping 4,000 PSI and they offer easy portability because they aren't tethered to a power cord. Most power washers use cold water, but for applications such as removing heavy caked on grease, some pressure washers employ either a propane or diesel burner to heat the water. However, a hot water pressure washer is a high-priced, top-end unit for commercial use and not recommended for most homeowners or do-it-yourselfers because of the cost and maintenance required. Basic pump designs come in three models, wobble, axial, and camshaft. A wobble pump must wrestle against piston spring resistance on each stroke, which makes it the least efficient of the three models. An axial pump offers a bigger oil reservoir, larger bearings, and larger cylinders, which equate to greater PSI and GPM. But piston spring resistance is still an issue, so an axial pump still doesn't offer the efficiency of a camshaft pump. A camshaft pump uses connecting rods and positive action pistons, which can result in as much as 85% more efficiency than an axial pump. Because this design generates much less heat, a camshaft pump can provide more than 1,000 hours of operation before requiring maintenance. A wobble or axial pump typically has a lifespan of only 200 to 600 hours. The fundamental setup of a power washer can blast away all sorts of dirt and debris using the water jet alone. But for more cleaning power, use a cleaning solution. Most pressure washers include an injection container that mixes a cleaning agent with the jet stream. The rule of thumb for using these solvents is to make sure the label is marked approved for pressure washer use. The right nozzle also makes a big difference in washer performance. Some nozzles spray a fine fan of water for easy coverage when spraying a cleaning agent. When you need to blast away stains on concrete, switch to a zero degree nozzle which shoots a concentrated jet that can cut through stubborn dirt and discoloration. Always wash it right with these pressure washing tips. When cleaning a new surface, start with a wide spray pattern and hold the nozzle four to five feet from the surface. Move closer to the surface until the desired effect is achieved. If you start spraying too closely, you could damage the surface rather than clean it. Keep the nozzle in motion, spraying at a steady speed with long, even strokes to ensure consistent results. Maintain a consistent distance between the nozzle and the cleaning surface. When cleaning heavily soiled or stained surfaces with detergents formulated for power washers, apply the cleaner with smooth, overlapping strokes under low pressure. When using a detergent, allow the cleaner to sit on the surface for a few minutes so it can do its job chemically before rinsing, but don't let it dry. When rinsing, start at the top and work downward for best results. Good luck and thank you for visiting ExtremeHowTo.com.